Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for a Let's Experience Kind Words Low Fee or Low Fi Chill Beats to Write To. Uh, this is a new game, independent game that's just come out uh, just recently. I've been really excited to play this game um, because it's one of these new titles that really makes us think what is a game? What constitutes a game? Uh, and how games can help us. So, as you know, these Let's Experience playthroughs are actually all about seeing uh, different sides of games, gameplay that can help us uh, strengthen our emotional intelligence, self knowledge, all that good stuff that helps boost our well-being. So without saying too much more, I'd like to just dive in and see what this is all about. It's already adorable. I am already enjoying this thoroughly for the aesthetic of it, uh, which is of course very important. Uh, media psychology research uh, shows that, you know, you come into a game and I love that I can just take my time here. Um, you come into a game and it's the ambiance, the aesthetic that will really set the kind of mood for you, can kind of help bring you down. I've had a little bit of a tough day at work today, so this is exactly what I need. Something that's going to be welcoming and calm, help me uh, get some of that work strain recovery, uh, relaxation, uh, stress recovery, as well as replenish some of my psychological needs to get me, you know, that little boost uh, before having to go back in tomorrow. So, looks like we have uh, this friendly post man, post deer. Uh, hello, I'm Ella. Oh, I'm sorry, not man. I'm Ella, and I'm new in town. I'm your new male deer. Thank you so much for letting me know what to call you. Male deer. I'm your first male deer? Yes. My job is to carry letters back and forth between people who need cheering up. Perfect. I love it. I wish I could have a male deer in real life. Which is only everybody. Exactly. Yes. Because everybody gets sad or scared. First of all, absolutely love that. Absolutely love this emotional honesty. A lot of times we walk into uh, like certain media and it, it kind of makes things feel like, oh, everything's always perfect, uh, which is nice if you need that hedonic boost. Um, I'll put some more uh, on the lower part of the screen about what uh, hedonic media entails. But if you just needed that boost, that's nice. But this, this is more eudaimonic. I'm gonna add that too. Uh, eudaimonic. It's letting us think more deeply about our emotions. It's this is really good. I'm even a little nervous about my new job here. Great self disclosure there. I don't suppose you'd write me an encouraging note, please? Well, of course, I have to. Then I deliver it to myself and feel better at my job. Yes, that is. I I want to do that so much. Uh, do I need to stick to this template? But. Dear, dear. I love it. Oh, is that why it's dear? Oh, it went away before I read it. So, dear, dear. I'm wishing you the best. You're awesome. Hmm, how should I sign? A fan. I'm already a fan of our male dear. What a kind letter. Thank you. Before I register you with the post office, I need to make a couple things super clear. Kind Words is full of real people talking about real problems. Again, this is a wonderful idea right here. This is not a place for mean jokes, bullying, or flippant responses. Also, this isn't a place to meet people. Don't share any identifying details or links. Perfect. Will not. I do what I can to keep this a safe, caring place but I'm only one deer. You may run into a jerk or some bad advice. Please report them. Great. Reporting system, very, very important. If you're ready to be kind and receive kindness in return, please sign here. Oh, I love that. Absolutely. I, I really put my name? I'm gonna put that. <laughs> nice to meet you. Give me a second to register you with the post office. All set. Now, if you want letters, all you have to do is ask for them. Maybe you're worried about something just like I was with this job. 
It can be scary, but don't be afraid to ask people for help. I love that. I love it. Perfect message. See you soon. Okay, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I'm just such a big fan of using this medium as a form of interactive art, as a way to connect with others. Oh, this is so cute. Do I... Whoop. No man is an island entire of itself. John Don. Don't allow yourself to be alone. Mankind was meant to help each other. Some people are turds, some are not. Hmm. Help yourself and others. You know, we got a kind of mixed message there, you know. Uh, but you know what? The overall feeling was inspirational, encouraging, so I like it. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Pushing up. Oh, okay, this, I'm feeling this. Let's turn down a little bit. Let's get a little... Good. Okay. So I'm just going to explore this room really quick. I'm... You know, just as... Ooh, I'm just curious. Oh, I like that. Some interactivity. Yeah, sure. Make sure you drink some water. If you haven't recently, wonderful, perfect hydration reminder. A sleepy day. Okay, that's a little bit more like haiku-ish. I like that. A sleepy day would make me feel better too. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't mean to ignore any letters that are gonna come flying in right now, but I do wanna talk a little bit about the research that I think supports how this game really can help uh, its players. So one thing is that this game is all about self-disclosure. There's a lot of research going on in media psychology about self-disclosure. That's ba basically a, a really kind of fancy way of saying talking about yourself, talking about your problems. Research has shown that when you disclose uh, information, not necessarily identifying information, of course. In fact, this actually works better with uh, some anonymity, which is what we have here. When you disclose your... Um, yourself, your feelings, it actually leads to higher rates of well-being, of relaxation, of stress relief, which is exactly what this game is for. I hope everyone has a good night here and a good morning. Actually, I hope you have an overall great day. I love that. I love that. Kissy face. That is adorable. Another great uh, kind of research, media psychology research that goes really well with this, I think, is the fact that they have found that the more you hear others disclose about your, themselves, the more you feel free to disclose about yourself. So that's great. This game really kind of gives you that feedback loop of I'm hearing from others. I still want to hear from others. I just love all this positivity going around, but it is inspiring me. Second by second, I'm feeling Oh, that's great. Remember, everyone, kindness spreads. Uh, I am feeling more encouraged to spread my own positivity. So far, I haven't had too many letters that are about self-disclosure. It's been a lot of um, just general positivity, which is, of course, great. You know, pass on the love plane. 28 people and counting. Oh, I love that. So I got to write that. How do I write? Oh, I should look. Make a request. Say nice things. Oh, okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting say nice things. View requests. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to say it's time to a shout out from the rooftops. Right on a paper airplane, send it flying through everyone's rooms. This is, I love this. This is awesome. Tell everyone they are beautiful. Yell out your thanks. Inspire us all. There you go. I'm feeling right with that. I'm actually feeling some elevation here. Now I'm, I'm jam packing this, let, this let's experience with a lot of uh, research, but uh, hopefully it's okay. It's not too much all at once. I'm feeling elevated here. I'm being reminded of the utter inspiration that is, you know, positivity and love and beauty. I feel, um, I'll have to put like a, a proper definition on the screen but I'm feeling moved. I'm feeling, I don't know. I have this really eudaimonic rush kind of going through me where I feel a real sense of meaning uh, and relatedness with others. And I'll get into relatedness more in a second, right after I pass on the love plane. Um, but yeah, I am already, you know, how long have I been playing this? I've only been playing this a couple minutes, but I'm already like 
feeling like the positive well-being, positive psychological effects of this game. So excited. Okay, so pass on the love plane. Oh, not plan. Plane. 29 people in counting. If I can spell. Happy face. Okay, love that. You get some mental health resources. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, send. Are you ready to send this note flying? Yes, I'm going to send that. Folding paper, preparing for takeoff. That is adorable. Your good vibes are now flying through the air for everyone to catch. Perfect, okay. So, uh, before I get too wrapped up in all of the uh, research, how about I, I do a little gameplay here. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Uh, view request, make a request. I'm gonna, uh, I'll save the make a request. I kind of want to learn. I want to learn from others. Um, how am I going to use this? To anyone who is reading this, do you have any OCs? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't. I'd love for you to tell me about them, what they like and dislike, what sort of quirky things about them. I'm sorry, I don't have any original characters. Uh, ever since I got out of the hospital and off morphine, I've been haunted by dreams and delusions, all circling back to me, living a life where I can be familiar with everyone but close with no one. Since I got sick, even the former has become exceedingly hard. Wow, okay. I kind of I kind of want to see what is next because there's so much I really want to help really want to say something but um, you know I have to kind of get myself gonna have to figure out how, what can I say first day back out to work after vacation was rough got used to not being stressed every day and sleeping normally anxiety is back to pre vacation level already it's hard to get out of this headspace now I'm gonna respond to this one because I know exactly what that struggle is I'm gonna reply to C. I'm also C. Um, it's like, I almost wrote that letter. Um, you're gonna write your first letter, how exciting. Remember, you can't solve everyone's problems. Thank you so much. It's important to alleviate that sense of responsibility um, from the person playing this. But you can always let people know you hear them and that they're not alone. This is perfect. Okay, this reminds me of, I'm gonna diverge a little bit from the research. This reminds me of, I really enjoy the writings of uh, the Buddhist Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, and he is always talking about compassionate listening. You know, just letting somebody know that they feel heard and that they aren't alone. So I'm gonna share with this person, with this person, my uh, experiences, my work stress a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, so I will find the relevant research because I'm sure it's not just a Buddhist philosophy, compassionate listening. I'm sure there's research that goes with it. I just need to uh, do some of that research on my own time and then I'll bring it up, put it at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Oh, and while people can't reply to your letter, they can thank you with a sticker. Okay. Okay, great. I have their letter for reference. Oh, okay. Now I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to say anything that's like flippant or anything. Hi. Um, let's see. Okay. So I might do a little time lapse here if I feel like it takes me too long to think of what to say, but I will share what I end up telling, what I end up uh, writing. Well, I don't want to like solve it, you know, not, not the one not one uh, method of kind of anxiety management works for everyone. You know, it's not one size fits all uh, mental health. We're all extremely and deeply complex people. Different things will work with different people. But I, I do want to kind of, no, I don't know. Um, uh, you know what, instead of trying to suggest anything, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna relate and I'm just gonna you know, it's a struggle. How do I, do I add a, how do I add a sticker? Oh, what's this? I just put that there. Okay. Well, that's cool. Cause I did reference, I did reference a cup of tea. So it's like mm, tea. Okay. So hi, uh, I know exactly how you feel the through, through, not though. Psh. Good thing to do a grammar check through grad school and getting my new job. I was so overwhelmed by feelings of responsibility and obligation. My anxiety peaked and no matter how long a vacation lasted, it wasn't enough. 
it's a struggle it's not possessive it's sorry i'm a little bit of a grammar person it's a struggle sometimes to keep afloat but appreciating the little things like a cup of tea a sunny morning a soft cat a laugh with friends or a game like this really helps i'm hoping you can find some time to relax and feel at ease happy peace awesome you know i'm so excited to actually send this i'm feeling really emotionally moved right now that i might be able to offer somebody some kind of um Thank you. Rush it right over. Okay. Um, I'm feeling oh, kind of emotional and moved that I might be able to just give somebody just a little, a little blip of, oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can count on me to deliver this letter, but also, uh, can I share something with you? It's not officially part of my job, but I can't help it. I've got this hobby. Can I tell you? I think you'll dig it. Yes, I probably will. Mixtapes, one song at a time. Lift You Along by Clark Aboot. And it's so chill, I hope you like it. Sure, yeah, mix it up. Don't forget you can click on the radio to change the music. I'll be back with another song tomorrow. Oh, does it does it always um, update? Does it, do they put in fresh music? I love it, okay. I developed a blood clot in my left arm last year even though I'm on I was only 20 and in fine shape. Doctors aren't sure why, still there. Since then I've had a quite a bit further other problems with my heart, feeling trapped in health problems. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. My heart immediately sunk. Um, wow. You know, I, I, I'm kind of struggling here. I don't feel like I have the self-efficacy to really reach out and help. Wow. I personally, hmm. Okay, I'm, this one's a real challenge, and if I wasn't recording, I think I would. I would love to spend like 40 minutes giving what I can, giving my, my, my care. You know, not care. My, my, <laughs> my well wishes, kind of, to this person. But um, let's go. Sometimes I feel I don't have a direction in life. I want to write music, then I want to do this or that. and never fully commit to anything. Sometimes I feel like I'm just aimless and it sucks. I feel useless. Oh my goodness. This is so relatable. I, I gotta, it's another C. Is it the same C? I don't know. <laughs> um, but again, me and the C's, I'm also a C, Courtney. Uh, all of us are really vibing today and relatable like uh, things okay so my time skip here um to the finished letter i'm just gonna try and figure this out right now oh wishing you the best i'm sorry i couldn't make it all fit do i do i have another sticker oh that's fine i'll just do that one. Oh, what's that say sticker okay great oh pop cannibal that's right Alrighty. so hi I also feel that way a lot. I kind of think it's an unspoken secret of adulthood, adulthood that no one, or at least very few people, really knows what they want to do. I've also made big decisions and gone into debt only to change my mind. It felt bad, but it ended up okay. I think it's good to have lots of interests and to explore different ways to express yourself. I think the real direction in our lives comes from time, patience, and resilience. Wishing you the best. I hope that that comes across okay. Yes, send. Thank you for taking time to think about a stranger. Oh no! Cannot resolve destination, huh? Oh no! Oh, can I can I copy it? Yes, please, please send it. Is it okay? Oh, maybe maybe they closed it. Maybe the. Well, okay, I'll discard it. But okay, uh, I gotta be quicker next time. Thank you. Awesome. No. Oh, am I? Is my internet like out? Oh no. Can I go back? Oh no. Okay. So I'm gonna pause this here because I really I'm not done with this game. There's so much more I want to say and do. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix the internet and get this up and running. Oh, <gasps> cute. Mug, 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 mug. Yes, gimme. Oh, show. Oh, 
This makes me so happy. I am so pleased by this. I am so pleased. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try again. Just, oh, actually, no. I'm going to uh, see you in a little bit. I'm gonna try and resolve this. Time skip. Hi, everybody. Okay, problems fixed. We're all good. I am back, but I did see, however, that I've been recording quite a long time, so I have to see right there. That is exactly our theme for right now. Good night, friends. Thank you. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video, but before I ended it, I did want to go ahead and bring up just some last media psychology thoughts uh, about just how helpful this game is. I think um, this game is incredibly helpful. Uh, there's a lot of research out there about the power of self-disclosure. Another thing that's great about this game is that it does kind of replenish that feeling of relatedness. You know, I felt connected to people. I am loving it so far because it's just this ready to go little adorable package of relatedness. So yes, this has been a great Let's Experience. I would love to see uh, more games like Kind Words come out. I think this is exactly what we need. Some emotionally intelligent games that, yes, stretches the idea like, what is a game? You know, this interactive media. Um, but it really did. It surpassed my expectations and I loved it. Uh, anyways, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can't wait to play the next game that will give this kind of experience that I can comment on and bring some research to light with. Anyways, I've gone on long enough. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy playing.